What's up? To the time. Yeah! Come on! Twitter! I'll tell you what's up on Twitter. At Sleek Geeks is our Twitter handle. You can follow our various commentaries on things and you can send questions you'd like Dr. Carl and myself to answer. The Sleek Geeks will answer your question if you send it to at Sleek Geeks. Use that handle it's called. Carl, to Twitter. Really? Handle. But isn't it a hashtag? How can you call that a handle? No, you can hashtag. You can hashtag Sleek Geeks or you can mention the handle at Sleek Geeks in your tweet. Either way, we'll see it. Why don't you call it ampersand? Uh, is that young? You're freaking me out. Gotcha. Strovey asks Strovey? a question. Mm-hmm. Now, I presume Strovey is actually someone whose name is Strove. And almost certainly Australian, following the habit of adding a vowel at the end. Good on you, Strovey. Love your work. Uh, Adam, Dr Carl, where do colours go when you leave a colourful plastic thing in the sun ah. for too long? What a great question. You leave a cheap plastic toy in the backyard, let's say it's a bright yellow rubber duck, mm. and after a while that colour will fade and it'll just become a sort of generic blank Plastic. Baby. Where's the yellow gone? Ah, well, we'll take the easy example. Firstly, there are 12, at least, causes of colour, but let's just pick the easy one, which is the dye. So, yeah. Yes, now, we've talked about this before in Sleek Geeks. Yeah. There's all different sorts of things like bioluminescence and all sorts of and, things. And, and, and diffraction and interference and the colours in an oil droplet on a rainy road. But the most basic form of colour is the colour, why is your shirt red? Because there's a red dye in it. Why was that yellow duck yellow? There was a yellow colouring in it. How does that work? So all the colours of the rainbow fall upon it and only yellow gets reflected. Okay. All the other ones get absorbed. Okay, so let's so sunlight as that stream of photons mm. coming from the sun and hitting the rubber duck, they contain all the wavelengths of visible light? All the way from Roy G. Biv, Roy up to V. So red through to violet. So mm. all the colours of the rainbow hit that duck, Yep. why does only the yellow bounce back and then onto my eye? Because with the yellow dye, we have tuned it in such a way that when the yellow light hits it, electrons get in that yellow molecule, the, the, the colour molecule, the actual, everything's made of atoms, the actual molecule it is made of atoms, and in the atoms there are electrons, and the electrons get pumped up to a higher level and then fall down. And when they fall down, they shove yellow light out in all directions, some of which lands in your eyes. In the other molecules, in all of the other colours, all that happens is they get absorbed and get turned into heat. They vanish into the material and they appear as heat energy. Oh, OK. So the, the yellow duck doesn't just reflect yellow back for me to see. Mm. It also effectively sucks in all the other colours Mm -hmm. so that I don't see them and they are transferred from photon waves into heat. heat. They go to the lowest form of heat. You can look upon them as some sort of internal revenue tax department. Yeah, okay. Come on in, you ain't getting out. Okay, so if we leave the the rubber duck out in the backyard, it gets warmer Mm -hmm. and that's because it's sucking in all the other wavelengths, all the other colours, all that energy. That's right. You can prove that by excluding the infrared and then letting only the Roy G. Biv colours land on it because there is also infrared energy yes. comes from the sun. But if you did that, you would find that would be the case. Exactly correct, Dr. Adam. Okay. Over time, mm-hmm. as that yellow duck lies in the sun, I don't see it as yellow anymore. Yeah, you said it fades to like a beige or something mm-hmm. like that. So what has happened to that once yellow duck that when the same sunlight hits it, I don't see yellow no more. The uh, yellow dye molecule breaks down. Continual ups and downs of the electrons in the outer layers of that molecule eventually cease. We're not too sure why. There'll be somebody who's written a paper on it, but the Mm. bottom line is that the yellow dye molecules break down. They're no longer there. They'll absorb the energy but turn into heat, not into something radiated out as a yellow colour for your eyeball. And so gradually the yellowness fades away. It turns out that red things fade worst of all. Mm -hmm. And this goes back to the fact that blue light has the highest energy. There's a famous formula that the energy is equal to the fourth power of the frequency, blah, 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 blah. So blue light has more energy. And if you go beyond blue, you go into violet and ultraviolet. And ultraviolet, you're just at the first point in the electromagnetic spectrum where you've got enough energy to start 
causing damage to skin and skin cancers. Shine red light onto your skin, no worries. Shine blue light, you've got problems. You're a little, you're so, sorry, shine ultraviolet light, you've got problems. So when you're shining light onto something that's red, what it's absorbing is blue. It's absorbing the most energetic photons. And these then damage the molecules. The red breaks down quickest because it's absorbing most of the high-energy blue, blue photons. That's it. That, that's it in one. The red breaks down the fastest because it's not emitting and throwing away and not being affected by the blue. Instead, it's doing the exact opposite. It's sucking in the blue, not knowing that the blue has the highest energy and will destroy it ultimately. And whereas my blue shirt is mm. giving off the blue, it's sucking in the red, etc., yes. lower energy, so the bouncing around of the electrons and all that, that process is broken down slower because there's less red-coloured energy that it's sucking in. Yeah, the energy ah! level of red is less. And so when you look at ancient paintings going back 10, 15, 20 years of pubs, you'll see that they've always faded down to a sort of a bluish end of the spectrum. The, the chemicals that reflect the blue survive the longest because they're not absorbing the high-energy blue. They're reflecting it. Go away, blue. I don't want to see you. I don't want to absorb you. They, they send it back. Where that, That's why red uh, paint fades fastest. There you go, Stroby. Hope that answered your question. Well, it did answer your question, whether he hoped or otherwise. Yeah, I hope we weren't too confusing. It's a difficult topic. I understood it, so I think it must have been pretty straightforward. Thanks, Droby. Tell me a few things people might not know about the sun. Give me some cool sun facts. It rains on the sun. What? The droplets of rain on the sun are the size of countries. Sleep cakes. 